Hello, hello everyone. Dr. Jason Silva here, and today we're going to be discussing the measures of central tendency. Now, a measure of central tendency is a single value that attempts to describe a set of data by identifying the central position within that set of data. And there are three measures of central tendency, the mean, the median, and the mode. The mean, or the average, is the sum of all the variables divided by the number of variables. The median refers to the number in the middle of all the numbers, and the mode is the most common number or variable within that data set. It's much easier to understand the measures of central tendency when looking at them within Excel. So here we have our mass shooter data. And let's begin with examining the fatalities that occurred during each of our sample of mass shooting attacks. Starting with the mean, we wanna take into consideration what is the average of all the fatalities that occurred during mass shootings from 2018 and 2019. Now to simply look at this, we can simply highlight all the variables and you'll see in the corner that it includes the average. However, we can also do this by running data analysis in Excel. Now whenever we wanna run an analysis, we would first put in the equal signs and then we would begin typing whatever analysis we're attempting to run. In this case, we're trying to determine the mean or the average. So we type average and as you can see here, Average is one of the functions. And if we wanted to look at the average fatalities, we would then highlight all of the fatalities. Here you see it's looking at F2 all the way up until F17. We would then close it off by closing our parentheses and press enter, and it gives us the average again. So there are essentially two ways to look at the average, simply by highlighting all of the variables or by running the average using data analysis. So this is the mean, but let's say we want to understand the median. First of all, it may be helpful to understand the median by organizing our data from the most fatalities to the least common fatalities. So if we look at our data, as we have done in the past, we can use the sort option. Now that we've organized all the fatalities from the greatest number of fatalities to the least number of fatalities, we would then want to look at the median number which falls in the middle. Now, given there are 16 instances in this case, there is not technically a middle number and we would need to average the two middle numbers, in this case, five and seven. Then we know that the median number would be six. Another way to calculate this using data analysis in Excel would be to type in median, highlight the numbers we're interested in getting the median for, closing off our parentheses and pressing enter. And here we see that the median is six. The reason one may want to use the median number instead of the mean number when determining the measure of central tendency is because of outliers. So we see that a lot of these attacks involve only four or five fatalities. And so the average would be 8.5 fatalities across the entire sample. However, this may be skewed by the outlier 22, which is a very rare number of fatalities in this current sample. So this outlier is skewing the overall measure of central tendency. The mean is skewing the overall measure of central tendency. In this case, a median may be a more effective way to summarize the data, showing the middle numbers or the median of six, which is not influenced by an outlier. So if we were describing mass shootings during 2018 and 2019 to a generalized audience, if we were to say the average incidence involved 8.5 fatalities, while factually accurate, it may be skewing our fear of the number of fatalities that are occurring during these instances and a more balanced representation of the mass shootings between 2018 and 2019 might be the median of six. Now the mode is simply referring to the most common number within your data set. So for fatalities, we see that there are actually two modes. There are four instances that involved four fatalities and four instances that involved five fatalities. Let's take a look at the age of offenders, and again, looking at the mean, median, and mode. And I'm going to sort these to give you a better understanding of the data organized from the youngest offender to the oldest offender. So 
If we are looking at the average, we can highlight the 16 offenders and see that the average is 32.625. Again, we could also run this data analysis typing in equal signs average, highlighting the variables that we're interested, closing our parentheses and pressing enter, and again, we get 32.625. If we're interested in the median, we can simply look at the middle numbers and average them together since this is uh, an even number of instances and there is technically no middle case. Or we can type equal sign median, highlight our numbers, and it informs us of the median, 28.5. And in this case, the mode would be the most common number. Now, if we were dealing with a much larger data set, it may be difficult to look at all the numbers at once. And so we would want to type mode, highlighting our numbers, and it's going to tell us the most common number, 21. However, we see that there are actually two modes here. There was two perpetrators who were 21 years old. There was also two perpetrators who were 28 years old. So when looking at age in this sample, there are actually two modes, not one mode, because there was two different age numbers that were the most commonly occurring in our data set. The ratio interval variables, age, fatalities, and injuries can all look at the mean, the median, and the mode. However, nominal variables can only look at the mode. So since sex is not ordered like ordinal and interval and ratio variables, we can only look at what is most common. And here we see that there are 15 males out of the 16 perpetrators. So the mode in this nominal variable would be male. Education, if we were ordering it, we can see that the mode education level would be four in this instance. And if you remember from our last video, four is referring to those with a high school degree. With ordinal variables, we can only look at the median and the mode because the average of these numbers would essentially tell us nothing because ordinal variables are categories. They are not all of the numbers. So in this case, we would see that the median or the numbers that fall in the middle would also be high school education. So both the mode and the median in the education example are capturing the same four number referring to high school education. This concludes our summary of measures of central tendency in Excel. Feel free to comment below if you have any questions about the mean, median, and mode.